we have spent millions of dollars over the years um, on these beaches just to have it washed away. But there are bluer skies and sandier beaches ahead, literally. The city has joined up with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for construction of a coastal storm damage reduction project like nothing the city has ever seen in its 333 year history. The project will widen the recreational area by 60 feet, enhancing residents and visitors beach experience. It will also protect valuable property from coastal storms and erosion. It will be known as the Willoughby Spit and Vicinity Project. It includes shoreline and adjacent land area extending along the Chesapeake Bay from the eastern limit at the jetties of Little Creek Inlet to the western limit at the tip of Willoughby Spit. It's the largest single beach investment ever, but that doesn't mean the price tag is large. No longer will Norfolk residents have to bear 100% of the beach protection cost. The majority of the project is federally funded, and the city's estimated cost share is about five and a half million and the total project cost is 18 and a half million. The project was one of several authorized but unconstructed coastal and storm damage reduction projects covered by the provisions of the Disaster Relief Appropriations Act of 2013, which was passed by Congress and signed into law by President Obama in response to damages to the Atlantic coastline from Hurricane Sandy in 2012. It puts a uh, focus on the current Norfolk comprehensive study and as Mayor Frame indicated, from the study will come recommendations. From recommendations comes the likelihood of projects. From the likelihood of projects comes um, strategic and deliberate responses for the community, the Commonwealth, and the Corps of Engineers to uh, build resiliency in the city and to offset the effects of sea level rise. Construction is scheduled to start in November of 2015 and is expected to take six months to complete.